Alright, it's 2022. So sa ngayon, wala tayong magawa. So gagawa tayo ng video para matulungan ang isa nating kaibigan with regard doon sa kanyang solar panel na gusto niyang i-upgrade. So by the way mga ka-solar, ang kanyang solar panel is rated at 200 watts at yung isa is 150 watts. So ang tanong niya sa akin, ka-solar, Ano bang magandang gawin ko sa aking 200 watts and my 150 watts solar panel? Ano ang connection na aking kailangan? Pwede ba siyang i-parallel o in series? So pag-usapan natin yan mga ka-solar. So ano ang pinakamagandang gawin kapag yung solar panel mo ay magkaiba yung wattage? So alin yung magandang setup para makuha mo yung the maximum power out? of your solar panel. So, here we go mga ka-solar. So, here we go mga ka-solar. Ito ang ating solar panel assuming we have a 200 watt solar panel and a 150 solar panel. So, sa ganito mga ka-solar assuming lang ito that this is our type of panel and the specification is just assumptions only. Hypothetically, but we can make a values of a bit. So, ito ang ating solar charge controller. So, how are we going to connect them to your solar charge controller? So, which is better? Is it positive or negative, mga ka-solar? So, considering na i-connect natin siya for a series connection. So, what will happen, mga ka-solar? It's like this. So, from positive to your negative and your negative to your positive. So, we have here a series connected solar panel so if we have here mga ka solar 18 volts output of your solar panel they have the same 18 volts and then most uh, the the output is going to be 36 volt to your output terminal because if you put in series of those solar panels you will increase the voltage so adding the voltage So, how about the current, mga ka-solar? So, assuming we have 6 amperes para sa yung 150 watt solar panel and then your 200 watt solar panel is generating around 7.5 amperes. So, what are we going to do, mga ka-solar? So, by the way, mga ka-solar, no? Yung current, which is rated at amperes, it is a rate of electricity flowing to your conductor. So, that means ito ay isang Right, kumbaga ang lakas ng kuryente no dumadaloy sa yung conductor sa yung wire. That is the current which is rated in ampere. So, so you have different ampere rating doon sa yung 200 watts. Syempre, mas malakas at yung 150 watts is mas mababa no. So in series connection mga solar of your solar panel according to your theory, series connection of solar panels you have the same current in the whole circuit in one circuit so sa isang circuit nito considering isa lang circuit nila the current flowing from one solar uh, other solar panel to the other solar panel is the same so sa ganito mas pinipili yung 6 ampere from your 150 solar panel so you can select the lowest mga ka solar Because it is according to the theory. And then, also, benefy, benefy ko ito through actual testing. So, the whole circuit is generating around 6 amperes. Even if you have 7.5 amperes para sa 200 watts solar panel. So, by computations mga solar, 36 volts times 6 amperes is equals to 216 watts. So, ito yung ating total power generation of your 250 watt solar panel connected in series so 216 watts mga ka solar no so this is only assumptions ha because we we are not technically dependent sa actual current na generate ng dalawang solar panel na to so based on our communications computations it's generating around 216 watts so the next question is What are we will happen, mga kaslord, if we will connect these two solar panels into a parallel connection? So here we go, mga kaslord. So we will connect this into 
the parallel connection. So, when ito ang mangyayari mga solar. So, we will connect them. So, parallel connection means connect your solar panel from negative to negative and connect your positive terminal to your positive terminal. And then we have the output voltage on your current. So, ganyan ang mangyayari. So, considering mga ka-solar, you have both 18 volts per panel. So, the terminal voltage would be the same. 18 volts also because they are connected in parallel. So, what about the current? So, according to the theory mga ka-solar, no? No, it's not theory. Law of electrical power law. Power connected in parallel, you should add the current. So, Unlike kanina, is the same yung current. Dito naman is, you will add. So, 7.5 ampere is plus the 6 amperes, you'll have 13.5 ampere. A total of 13.5 amperes for your power, a uh, current rating for both of those solar panels. Okay? So, by de determining the total power generated mga solar, you have 18 volts times 13.5 amperes. So that is equal to 243 watts. So the overall na nagigenerate ng yung dalawang solar panel is 243 watts mga ka solar. So for parallel connection, you have 243 watts of power na nagigenerate from both of your two solar panels. While in series kanina mga ka solar is around 216 watts. So, it's much clear dito na sa ganitong connection is mas advantageous yung so parallel connection if you have a mismatch solar panel, mga solar So, that's cool for you to connect in parallel. Or final confusion, mga kasolar, if you have a mismatch solar panel which is rated at 200 watts and 150 or much lower than that, it's better to use in parallel connection. So, ang parallel connection is according to the theory of our power formula of a series connected solar panels, ay makakaharabis ka ng mas malaking power to your battery compared to a series connection. So, what about mga solar if gumagamit ka ng MPPT? So, ibang scenario na yung mga solar Because MPPT works in a different manner. So, I advise that if you are connecting a mismatch solar panel, you can use only a PWM controller. Because mahal mga kasolar yung MPPT controller. While you cannot use uh, the, the, the advantages na pwedeng i-provide ng iyong a uh, solar panel which is corrected in parallel doon sa MPPT because MPPT requires a higher voltage. So, if you connect them in series connection, the most probably is you cannot harvest the maximum current or rate of electricity flowing to your solar panel going, going to your battery. So, that is only an example of solar. Theoretically, it's possible to connect them in parallel or in series, but the theory, the power formula, and the the the, the connection procedure, no, uh, reflects na yung parallel connection of solar panel is much better compared don sa series connection. So considering mga solar, they have the same voltage because you cannot also parallel if uh, iba din ang scenario if iba ang kanilang bultahe. So, thank you mga solar for that very nice question and I hope it answers your question also. So, see you in the next video mga solar. Thank you and hit the thumb like below. Thank you.